Thank you very much. It's now time for the sports news on the major news bulletin. My name is Prince and let's take our first story and it's got to do with the senior national team, the Black Stars. Now, Black Stars head coach Avram Grant and stand-in captain Andre Dedeayu admit that the 2017 AFCON qualifying campaign has been a success. But the team's aim now is to stay focused in order to achieve their ultimate of winning the African Cup. They spoke to Metro Sports on arrival from Mauritius earlier today. Well, I think it's, a, it's an important qualification. Um, this year was very difficult for us to, to qualify. It wasn't easy at all. You know, since the World Cup, things have been difficult uh, when we have been playing at home. But we managed to stay strong. We managed to do what we had to do and I want to thank God, thank all my colleagues and uh, the staff for what we have done. It's just the beginning, we are six months to the tournament so we, we have time to prepare. Oh, it's a good feeling, but it's a good feeling also because, uh, not just because of the result, you know, we have 13 points from 15 which is very good. I think we played good in this, we was dealing with a lot of problems, uh, absent of players and everything. And still we did our job uh, very good. We won four games and uh, one draw and uh, one game before the end we are uh, qualified. So I'm happy, but uh, as I said, it's part of a process. We want to do more. Those were the encouraging words from standing captain Andre Ayew and the head coach of the senior national team, Avram Grant. Congratulations to the senior national team. Their next target is to win the Africa Cup of nations. Let's do some other news still on football, where British High Commissioner John Benjamin has called on football administrators to ensure that the games grow with education since that will make the players more professional. He was speaking in an interview after he witnessed the signing ceremony between the British schools here in Accra and football academies. Uh, it's, it's very important because uh, football, culturally speaking, is huge. It's a, by far the most popular sport in both our countries, perhaps even more so relatively in Ghana. Uh, it dominates the sporting scene and uh, education is, a, is a, a key factor for any developing country in reaching kind of full economic development. So to bring the two together is, is fantastic and uh, Mirage Academy is, is one of several doing a wonderful job. The idea that kids can improve their football skills without neglecting their education is a good idea. And, um it's going to open doors for other kids in, in Ghana, especially for the less privileged and um, the Mirad Football Academies. And um, we also working together with um, uh, orphanage, which is called Save Them Young Orphanage in Ashaman. So we're looking to help them get a better future in life. Um, obviously, seeing things on the street, um, that's what inspired us to set up this thing in the first place, knowing that some people haven't got the opportunity that we have in Europe and how the people that, are, that haven't got much, uh, they appreciate um, the little things that they have is the reason why. We believe that with this foundation, we'll be able to improve and better the life of many in Ghana. Education is very important in life because, like I said in my um, presentation, it's not always about football, football, football. There's more to life than football. Not if you look at the world of football, not many people make it. You have to be really, really special and you have to have the self, um, self believe, the drive to succeed. Some people have got that, that drive, but injury can stop them. So with, with education, they can have got something to fall back on. This is why we joined the partnership with Buckswood to make sure that all the players are able to study as well as enjoy playing the, the beautiful game. Um, long term. Because um, there's so many um, other programs and stuff that we want to do together. So um, we're looking to keep it going. Now. That was the British High Commissioner John Benjamin talking about the marriage between football growth and education. That's it for the sports news on Newsnight. Many thanks for your time. Kwesi Ifriye drives us home from here. All right, thank you very much, uh, Prince Anan, there with the sports segment of the news. Let's do the international segment now, and Kenya is to hold the